guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about my weight loss journey and I'm not a dietitian and I'm not a health expert so I'm just trying to share how I lost weight and share some diet tips with you guys and of course if you have any diet tips then leave it in the comments below and um, just to let me know I'm sure there's a lot of diet tips out there that I don't know of so you're all probably wondering like how much weight I've lost and what I used to look like and I'm going to insert a picture here and this was when I was at my heaviest and that was when I weighed around 9 stone and um, I currently weigh about 8 stone and I think that's quite average for my height about 5 foot 3, 5 foot 4 although as you guys know I'm getting married next year so I'm still on a conquest to lose a few more pounds but overall I am quite happy with my weight now and I am more happier and content than I have ever been like in my life. So growing up, I just like a lot of Asian kids in the UK, I grew up in a takeaway and my parents um, were always feeding me food. My mum loves to cook so she was always coming out with new um, recipes asking us to try it and back when I was a teenager I had no clue about health or dieting I just ate everything and anything I could like literally if it's if there's a packet of crisps in front of me then I'll just eat it without even thinking about and it then obviously I grew up and then I moved to university where I met a lot of new friends and because I was meeting so many friends and it was university that obviously meant that I went out a lot I probably went to the club or a bar three to four times a week and back then I was drinking quite heavily not on the verge of alcoholic but it was quite heavy I would say I would on average have about seven or eight drinks or glasses of wine a night which thinking back that was pretty stupid and that was an insane amount I could never do that now but obviously when you think about all the sugar and all the calories in there it slowly build it up and build it up and I just didn't realise it because I was having so much fun and um, I was always having lunch with my friends at um, nice restaurants um, I didn't live with Tommy at the time so whenever he came over to visit me we'd go out to a restaurant and all that fast food and restaurant eating and alcohol just really built up and my weight started creeping up and up and up. My weight was obviously at its peak which was around 9 stones. I remember going into a clothes shop and trying on a size 10 pair of jeans and I was struggling to zip up the top and fasten the button and I think that was at the point where I actually sat down and thought I really need to do something about my weight. So now that you know the history of my weight I'm going to tell you guys how I lost the weight and how I kept it off without the gym because I've never ever been well I've been to a gym before obviously when I when my friends have had guest passes or I've been with my mum just to go swimming but I've never actually been a full member of a gym. I honestly think that the gym is so boring like if I wanted to do exercise I would try and find other ways of doing exercise. I would not like to go to a gym and especially where I live it's quite expensive to go to the gym. And thinking of all that money that's going to be going down the drain, it just avoids me and stops me from joining the gym. So the first thing I did to lose weight was obviously switch up my diet. I ditched all the junk food, so all the um, crisps, chocolate, sweets, fast food, and I swapped it for healthy alternatives such as fruit, fresh fruit, lots of protein, um, I also cut out my carb intake because I realised that every time after I've had like pasta or bread um, my stomach would get really bloated and it would make me feel really uncomfortable for a few hours and then after that few hours I would just feel sleepy and it, it just wasn't doing me any good or my body any good and I could feel it so I just completely cut that out and especially because I'm Asian I grew up eating white rice um, when I was younger I would eat two bowls of rice with every meal but then obviously cut that out as well I started eating half a bowl of rice when I had um, dinner with an Asian family after I finished university I stopped going out as much and I probably only went out maybe once a month or not even that sometimes so obviously my alcohol intake went woo it just 
I didn't drink alcohol anymore and obviously that saved me a lot of calories. My body wasn't taking in as much calories as I used to. I was feeling hungry instead of reaching for a bar of chocolate or a packet of crisps I'd go for something healthier like maybe fruit or a smoothie or I swapped crisps for cracker bread. I'm not sure if any of you guys know what that is but cracker bread and um, rye bread so I'd snack on those instead of all the salty um, tasty crisps. I also stopped buying fast food and um, oven meals. When I was at university I went through so many oven meals. Thinking back of it, it just... <laughs> I had so much and um, ever since graduating from uni I've never ever had an oven meal and I think that's just good for me in general because all those oven meals are no good for the body because it's obviously been processed and it just contains a lot of salt, a lot of calories, a lot of sugar because obviously it's tasty. All things that are tasty are calorific. I also stopped drinking fizzy drinks which some of you might call um, soda. Um, I never ever order it in the restaurants. I never buy it when I'm out. I also only drink water, fresh fruit juice or um, green tea. Those are the only drinks that I drink. Obviously if Tommy's having a glass of coke at a restaurant and I'm thirsty I might have one sip but I never order it for myself and I never overdo it. So obviously it can get a bit boring when you're always eating healthy foods, eating fruit and sometimes you might want to indulge and just enjoy what is tasty like desserts, um, ice cream, um, chocolate, anything that you find tasty. So I still eat those foods but I control my portions. For example, I absolutely love crisps. I could eat crisps for the rest of my life if I never put on weight or got unhealthy inside. But what I do now is instead of having the whole bag of crisps, I use a bowl and I pour the amount of crisps I allow myself to eat and I stick with it instead of just opening a bag sitting next to the TV and before you know it you've already gone through the whole bag and whenever I want ice cream or I'm out at a restaurant and I want dessert then I'll have it but that doesn't mean I'm gonna finish it I always order it and I have a few mouthfuls and I eat it slowly so that I know that my brain triggers that it satisfied me and then I stop I don't finish the whole thing. Even eating a little bit of those foods can satisfy your craving so don't think that you have to eat the entire thing just because it's there. Um, that's what I used to do when I was a teenager and obviously that wasn't good for me because I was eating so much and so much to the point that sometimes I actually felt sick. So you're all probably wondering how did I get my exercise because obviously I mentioned that I never went to the gym. Instead, I went jogging every day. I started jogging um, around 7 o'clock at night just for 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. It doesn't have to be like a 5 mile um, run where you're getting all sweaty and wet up. I just went for a 15 to 20 minute run around the block of where I used to live and that was enough to get my heart pumping, get me a little bit sweaty and just get my body working into a more healthy and active mode. And I also took less transport. I also walked a lot more when I was in shopping centres, when I was in buildings. Instead of taking the escalators or the lift, I would take the stairs. So I absolutely love dancing and automatically one of the ways I thought it would be great to lose weight was to do dancing. And no, I didn't go to any classes, I didn't go out. I actually did this in the comfort of my own home and I played this and it's um, the Xbox Kinect Dance Central and I remember when I first bought this um, game I actually played it for three hours non-stop because it was so fun and I didn't even realise how much sweat I was dripping, I didn't realise how much calories my body was burning, I was just having fun and I think that when you're exercising and when you're having fun it doesn't seem as torturing and it just it seems effortless and you'll probably forget that you even do an exercise. So yeah, if you have an Xbox Connect or if you have a Wii, I think they have a Wii version, then I would suggest getting a game like this because you can do it in the comfort of your own home. You don't need to get ready to go anywhere, you can just switch it on, start sweating and start having fun and yeah, 
if you actually watch one of my vlog um, videos which I'll probably link down below in the information bar you can actually see me dancing to one of the songs on this which was quite embarrassing but I think it was quite fun for people to watch and yeah I swear by this game when it comes to exercise ladies shopping is also exercise mm -hmm. if you go shopping and you shop for an average of three to four hours and you're carrying bags that is going to burn you a lot of calories and obviously you don't even realize you're burning the calories because you're having so much fun so I always try to have fun when I'm doing exercise I there's nothing worse than torturing yourself, trying to work out and um, not enjoying what you're doing. I want to share some diet tips with you guys that I swear by. And I've got a list here. I wrote them all down last night whilst I was thinking of the video. And I'm just going to go through them and let you guys know what I do to help me keep on track and to help me keep motivated. So you've all heard this before. But never go to a supermarket when you're super hungry because you'll just end up buying everything that you want to eat not just one meal you probably end up buying 10 meals plus biscuits chocolate crisps juice anything that you've ever been craving you probably buy it all in one go and when it's in your fridge and when it's at your house you're going to feel the urge to have to one of my tips is to work out whether you are actually hungry or not a lot of the times our brain tricks us into thinking that we're hungry and that we need food but instead we're actually just thirsty so if you're feeling hungry have a glass of water obviously if you're still feeling hungry then obviously eat something but you might find that after a glass of water you might not even feel hungry so this is going to be a really weird one for me to say but what I used to do and I still do now and again is take naked photos of myself I used to stand in front of a full length mirror and I just take a body shot. Obviously I was in my underwear, I wasn't like completely naked, that would just be strange. Um, but take a photo of yourself and just keep it as a reminder of what your body looks like now. And then take another photo, maybe two or three weeks later and just see how you've progressed. If you feel that you've put on a little bit more weight, maybe you need to control your diet or do more exercise and if you're obviously losing weight then that's all good and you know that you're on the right track and you know that your diet and fitness plan is working in diet tips is don't deprive yourself because if you want something eat it if you craving something have it but have a little bit like like I said earlier, control your portion size. Maybe take just take a couple of bites. You might even be satisfied after a couple of bites, but never deprive yourself because the more you deprive yourself, the more you're gonna give up on your diet and fitness routine. And the more you deprive yourself is the more you're gonna think about that type of food and the more you're gonna want it. And then by the time you come to have it, you can just eat it all and just your final tip is drink warm herbal teas. Ever since I started dieting, I have a cup of green tea every single morning. And I don't drink tea, I don't drink coffee. I have um, hot green tea because I feel like it cleanses my system, wakes me up and it just makes me feel better inside. And green tea is a really good herbal tea because it speeds up your metabolism and it's also good for you and it's good for your skin. Thanks for watching my video guys. I hope this helps some of you out there who might want to get into a diet or fitness routine. Obviously I'm not a dietitian or a health expert so I'm just trying to share with you guys and tell you guys how I lost the weight. Thanks for watching guys. Stay active, stay healthy, stay happy and I'll see you soon. Bye.